When you win a Nobel Prize less than a year into office, the potential to disappoint is naturally huge. Barack Obama came signed, sealed and delivered with huge expectation on his shoulders. His foreign policy talk was about new beginnings and cooperation. The wars were done. Nearly eight years on, we've asked a former State Department official, Karen von Hippel, to assess his legacy. At the start of the Obama administration, expectations were very high, not just in the United States, but of course globally. Here was a man who was elected because he opposed what most considered an unjust war in Iraq. He soon won the Nobel Peace Prize. He gave his speech in Cairo, which was incredibly moving and, and affected millions around the world. I've come here to Cairo to seek a new beginning between the United States and Muslims around the world. On the success side of the ledger, opening of relations with Cuba is an obvious success. The Iran nuclear deal is another success. And of course, killing Osama bin Laden was a success. On the negative side of the ledger, I would put the chaos in Libya today, the inability to close Guantanamo as he had promised at the start, and of course, the continuing tragedy in Syria. A red line for us is we start saying, a whole bunch of chemical weapons moving around or being utilized. After the Assad regime crossed the red line by using chemical weapons against their own people, I do believe Obama could have used force to better effect. Obama's overall legacy will be mixed. He's cautious. He did not want to get into any unnecessary wars.